When Elon Musk's engineering team started pulling Starship blueprints for a senior citizen's car, insiders knew something radical was happening. Tesla just confirmed that Model 2 Senior Edition will use three SpaceX technologies never before seen in consumer vehicles. Lightweight alloys from rocket fuselages, heat-resistant composites protecting Starship at extreme temps, and structural techniques that cut vehicle weight by 90 to 120 pounds. But here's the shocking part. Why is Tesla testing unproven aerospace tech on the exact demographic that values reliability over innovation. The answer lies in supplier briefings from Tesla's Mexico Gigafactory, and what they reveal changes everything we thought we knew about this car. Engineers aren't just building another electric sedan. They're installing an aluminum steel hybrid chassis using the exact same lightweight alloys SpaceX developed for Starship's fuel tank sections. These materials were literally designed to withstand cryogenic temperatures of minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit and pressures exceeding 100 PSI in actual rocket prototypes. Now they're going into a car for 70-year-old drivers. Think about what that means for a second. Most automakers are still using conventional steel with minor tweaks, Tesla just borrowed technology from spacecraft and dropped it into a vehicle aimed at the most safety-conscious demographic on the planet. That's either brilliance or madness. And honestly, it might be both. The weight savings tell the real story. Tesla is cutting 90 to 120 pounds compared to the standard Model 2 prototype. For context, when Nissan updates the Leaf or Chevy refreshes the Bolt, they celebrate saving 30 to 55 pounds through years of incremental engineering. Tesla just tripled that in one generation, and they did it while making the structure stronger, not weaker. That's not normal automotive development. That's aerospace thinking applied to cars. Here's why this matters beyond spec sheets. My aunt stopped driving two years ago because her Honda CRV felt too heavy to steer in parking lots. She's 71, and her shoulder mobility isn't what it used to be. Lighter weight means genuinely easier steering for people like her. It means smoother acceleration without the jerky electric motor torque that makes seniors hesitate at intersections. Most importantly, it creates more predictable braking on wet pavement. Internal simulations show 12 to 15% better emergency stopping consistency compared to heavier EVs. For someone whose reaction time has slowed naturally with age, that consistency could prevent an accident. But the battery thermal management is where this gets genuinely interesting. Tesla wrapped the battery pack in composites derived from Starship's heat shield research. These aren't the black and white tiles you see on the rocket, but they work on the same principle, channeling extreme heat through microscopic lattice structures. For spacecraft, that means surviving re-entry at 3,000 degrees. For a senior in Minnesota, it means the battery doesn't lose half its range when winter hits. Early estimates suggest this keeps 7 to 11 extra miles of consistent cold weather range compared to standard battery enclosures. That might sound modest until you realize seniors are the people most likely to stop driving entirely in winter because they fear getting stranded. Range anxiety isn't just technical for this age group, it's psychological. It's the reason my neighbor's father sold his Bolt after one bad experience running low on charge during a snowstorm. If Tesla can prove their battery performs reliably in extreme cold, they're not selling a feature, they're restoring independence. Then there's the lowered center of gravity achieved by repositioning battery modules and trimming upper body panels using SpaceX's thin wall alloy techniques. Just 0.3 to 0.5 inches lower. Half an inch doesn't sound like much until you understand vehicle dynamics. That small drop changes how the car feels in crosswinds and sudden lane changes. Seniors over 65 often avoid highways specifically because passing trucks make their car feel unstable. Tesla's addressing a fear most automakers don't even acknowledge exists. What strikes me most is that Tesla could have saved money using conventional methods. They chose not to. They pulled rocket technology 
for a car segment most companies ignore. That decision says everything about where they think this market is heading. This is where SpaceX's influence shifts from materials into pure mechanical design. And it's the kind of innovation most people will never consciously notice, even though it'll change their lives. Tesla engineered a door hinge system borrowed from Starship's payload bay panels. The goal was simple. Create an opening 8 to 12 degrees wider than normal car doors without adding weight or cost. Those extra degrees matter more than you'd think. Picture someone with hip arthritis getting into a compact car in a crowded parking lot. Standard doors force you to twist sideways, compress your spine, and drop into the seat at an awkward angle. It hurts. Tesla's wider opening allows a natural forward step that reduces torso rotation by 25 to 30 percent. For many seniors, that's the difference between driving themselves or asking family for rides. Tesla also lowered the door sill by nearly an inch. Most EVs sit at 10.5 to 13 inches because that's what their platform dictates. Dropping it even one inch reduces knee flex by about 15 degrees during entry. Less bend means less pain. Less pain means more confidence. More confidence means people keep driving instead of giving up their independence. But here's where it gets almost unfair to the competition. The front seat has a forward tilt assist mechanism that moves outward and upward when you open the door, then glides back once you're settled. This kind of automated assistance normally costs $80,000 in luxury SUVs. Tesla's putting it in a $25,000 compact car. The movement is subtle, just 1.5 inches up and two inches out, but testers report noticeably less back fatigue after even short drives. Why isn't every automaker doing this? Cost. Most companies see seniors as low volume and not worth the engineering investment. Tesla's betting $10 billion across their production planning that conventional wisdom is catastrophically wrong. They're betting seniors will be the fastest growing EV segment for the next decade. And whoever wins them first, wins everything. The visibility improvements reveal how thoroughly Tesla rethought this car. They reduced A-pillar thickness by up to a quarter inch using stronger chassis alloys. Older drivers depend on clear sight lines for left turns because their ability to judge closing speeds has declined. NHTSA data shows A-pillar blind spots contribute to 23% of senior intersection accidents. Combined with a slightly raised seating position, this car offers better forward visibility than most compact SUVs while keeping the easy entry of a sedan. The steering system represents Tesla finally admitting that sometimes old solutions work best. They're adding physical buttons for climate and hazards. This completely contradicts their touchscreen-only philosophy, but for seniors who need tactile reference points they can find without looking, it might be the most important decision in the entire vehicle. That takes a particular kind of humility in the tech industry. This is where SpaceX's influence becomes invisible but transformative. Tesla built a sensor architecture that mirrors Starship's autonomous flight redundancies, and the implications go far beyond typical driver assistance. The hardware includes medium-range radar detecting objects 140 to 165 feet away, specifically calibrated for seniors' struggle. Low light, heavy rain, unclear depth perception. But the real breakthrough is the processing speed. Tesla's new computer responds 18 to 25 milliseconds faster than current systems. 20 milliseconds sounds meaningless until you understand what it does to system behavior. Faster processing means smoother warnings and fewer sudden interventions. SpaceX learned during Starship testing that abrupt corrections often create worse problems than they solve. Startling the pilot, or driver, into overcorrecting defeats the purpose of assistance. The predictive lane system is genuinely impressive. Instead of reacting to lane markings like conventional systems, it models the road 450 feet ahead. It analyzes upcoming curves, traffic flow, vehicle spacing, then makes gentle, anticipatory corrections rather than waiting for drift and jerking you back. 
For someone whose reaction time has slowed 150 to 200 milliseconds, this eliminates the panic-inducing jolts that make older drivers distrust assistance entirely. Cross-traffic monitoring expanded the side camera angle by four to six degrees and added rear radar optimized for under 15 miles per hour. Early testing shows 35 to 40% fewer false alerts compared to Model 3 systems. This matters because every false alarm erodes trust. When the car cries wolf constantly, seniors start ignoring real warnings. Tesla understands that less frequent but accurate alerts beat constant noise. Here's the detail that shows SpaceX's fingerprints. Tesla recalibrated warning tones from 2000 to 4000 Hz down to 500 to 1000 Hz. Age-related hearing loss affects higher frequencies first. Senior hearing retention in lower ranges is 60 to 70% better. Tesla didn't make alerts louder, they made them smarter based on actual human physiology. Safe Route Assist analyzes traffic patterns, accident history, and intersection complexity to guide seniors toward routes with easier merges, better lighting, fewer aggressive zones. Drivers over 70 are three times more likely to avoid highways entirely because merging at speed feels terrifying. If Tesla makes highways feel safer, they unlock trips people currently avoid out of fear rather than inability. The auto park function now identifies spaces 40% faster and handles spots as narrow as 7.8 feet with smoother movements. For seniors who avoid downtown specifically because they fear tight parking, this restores access to restaurants, appointments, activities they've been gradually abandoning. What all this reveals is fascinating. Traditional automakers see seniors as declining market share with lower budgets. Tesla sees 10,000 Americans turning 65 every single day. By 2030, one in five Americans will be seniors, 73 million potential customers who own cars but increasingly fear driving them. Tesla isn't building for today. They're positioning for the largest demographic shift in automotive history before competitors realize it exists. But there's another angle worth considering. What if these SpaceX technologies aren't here primarily because they're perfect for seniors? What if Tesla's using this demographic as a controlled test environment before wider deployment? Seniors drive shorter distances, avoid extremes, rarely push limits, and report issues rather than ignoring them. From an engineering perspective, they're ideal for validating unproven technology. Is this brilliant strategy that helps an underserved group or calculated risk disguised as innovation? Probably both. And that's exactly what makes it so interesting. So here's the answer to the question we opened with. Why would Tesla risk installing untested rocket technology in cars for the demographic least tolerant of failure? Because seniors aren't the test subjects, they're the validators. There's a critical difference SpaceX proved that the most reliable systems aren't perfected in labs. They're stress-tested by users who demand they work flawlessly every single time. Seniors don't forgive glitches. They require consistency, making them ideal for validating technology Tesla will deploy across their entire lineup. This is where SpaceX and Tesla engineering truly merge. The same redundancy thinking that lands Starship autonomously is now making roads safer for people who need it most. And if these systems prove reliable over the next 18 months in the Model 2 Senior Edition, expect them in every Tesla by 2027. Which of these three SpaceX secrets do you think matters most? The lightweight chassis, the door system, or the sensors? Let us know in the comments. If this breakdown gave you a new perspective on how Tesla and SpaceX are actually sharing technology hit that like button, subscribe to Tesla Zone, and turn on notifications so you catch our next deep dive into what Elon's companies are really building behind the scenes. We connect the dots others miss. The automotive future isn't being designed in traditional factories anymore. It's being forged in rocket facilities and proven by drivers who've seen more road than most of us ever will.